Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and these are the number bots. I noticed these on Singles Day and I knew I had to do a video about them. What they are is they are little plastic numbers that not only transform into vehicles, but they also combine into a super robot mode. That is just bizarre. It kind of reminds me of like a cartoon from the 80s. Like, I think it would be awesome if it was a cartoon. Like there was this guy, he'd like have a special like calculator, he'd hit a button and then the numbers would launch out of like a giant calculator shaped building and transform and come and save the day. They, they just seem like, like an awesome idea. I mean, I can see it, all of the math themed villains and all the puns. Number bots, you can count on us. I found this one on AliExpress, although it's also available on eBay for about $12. There's also a special version of it that also includes the various radicals, such as plus, minus, multiplication, and division, along with an equal sign. Although, sadly, all of those don't really add anything to the big robot, with the radicals being basically basic robots that transform, kind of like a lot of these sorts of number bots that have existed in the past. And the equal sign is actually an attaché case that stores their weapons. That's kind of neat. Anyway, each of these number bots transforms into a different military vehicle in ascending order of awesomeness. Zero turns into a Jeep, one turns into a tank, two changes into a helicopter, three turns into a speedboat, four turns into a plane, five turns into a howitzer cannon, six becomes a missile truck, seven becomes a missile silo, eight becomes a massive battleship, and nine turns into a scooter. Well, I guess Vespas were initially created using scrapped airplane wheels, but that's a bit of a letdown ending there. So here they are all together, and I have to admit, these are some really nicely done designs. In fact, with most, or if not all of them, you couldn't even tell that they used to be numbers, or at the very least, you couldn't tell what numbers they used to be, except maybe for seven, but then again, seven's a bit of an unusual shape to change into a transformer, but it's amazing all the little details they have on here. They have the propeller on the helicopter, even though it doesn't spin. They have the little jet on the tail. They have that howitzer gun. They, they have a lot of really fun stuff going on here. And you can tell a lot of design work went into this. Eight and three, in order to get their bow shapes, kind of have the same transformation method, which is admittedly pretty cool. It gives you a nice big shape without sacrificing that number shape. And they're also a bit less painted compared to the artwork that depicts them on their official promotional image, but I don't think that's terribly unusual or an indicator that it's fake in any way because that sort of downscaling happens all the time from the prototype to the mass production model. And the fact that it actually came in sort of the, the plastic inside, the, the inside, uh, the inside uh, protector there that's inside the box. I don't know why they didn't just send the whole box in that case. Indicates to me that this is how it's supposed to originally look. I, I've i done a little research on this. I haven't seen this kind of thing anywhere or any kind of origin or cartoon or other line that these things might have come from. Honestly, these on their own are very impressive. And you, you have to remember, these things still combine into yet a larger robot. It's, it's very impressive so far. So let's take a look at the giant robot. the combined number bot, or as I like to call him, the ultimate numbertron. So this is all of the pieces, zero through nine. It is a 10 piece combiner and yeah, it's maybe a bit of a letdown compared to what it was before. Although as far as like classic G1 style combiners are concerned, this one seems to be par for the course. It's kind of inflexible. It mainly only rotates at the shoulder on the right arm and uh, the elbow on the left, it doesn't really have any hands to speak of or any kind of special power-up weaponry aside from the uh, the uh, 7 missile mounted on its shoulder, not to mention that rip-off face design, but still, the, the sheer spectacle of a 10-piece combiner in itself makes it worth it. I don't know, did, did... I know Transformers did a 10 different transformation character 
with the uh, um, with the, the the Megatron. I think that was the the, the robots in disguise, the the OG robots in disguise. Megatron could change ten times, but this is a ten piece combiner, and I don't think Transformers has done that just yet. At least not in the way this does, where all of them are sort of equivalent components. So. Uh, Let's take a look at him here. He is using the Jeep and the tank for feet. The three, completely untransformed, makes up his hips. The plane contains his head. Number eight has turned into kind of his Macross arm there. Number nine has turned into uh, his, his left arm, which actually kind of looks like it has a little laser gun on it. And of course, seven has turned into the missile, leaving six and two as the legs. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is probably what inspired me to pick it up. The fact that this thing is just so darn silly looking. It's, uh, it, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, not terribly stable either. You can kind of see how it's, how it's, uh, bobbing around like that. Um, like I said, this thing is just hilarious. Um, fantastic gift if you have a Transformers fan out there. If you want to give them something really weird, like on the level of that, Thomas the Tank Engine combiner that I've seen floating around the internet a few times. This is just, oh, this is, this is just, this is just too much. Um, so anyway, that is a look at the fleet of number bots and the ultimate number Tron. I honestly think this would make an interesting idea for a kid's show. Like I said, lots of number puns and stuff like that. Seems Seems like something that would come out of the 80s and have like a super corny TV show. Like the kid's like, whoa, what is that? And you're like, it's the ultimate combiner Numbertron. And I, I can just see the 80s commercial complete with all of that old recording VHS static playing over it. Oh, it just, it just sounds wonderful. So anyway, this is a look at the ultimate number bot. And until next time, this is Kodak signing off. Numbertron, one shall stand, one shall fall. And only one of us actually has a number one prime. I hope you're ready, for when I square root you down to a prime number, it will multiply my pleasure exponentially. And then I will be number one. Well, that's just prime. Exactly. Numbertron, you are the worst rival anyone could ask for. You won't be so confident once I launch my shoulder missile. It doesn't actually shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.